I am finding out that Batesville, Arkansas has quite the history and we're here in front of Lyon College to find out more about that. I'm here with my new friends, Jim and Kenton. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. Nice to have you come up. Yes, okay, first of all, let's start with a little bit of the history behind the college. Founded in 1872, it was founded by the Presbyterian Church. Um, we've been here uh, on this campus not quite that long. We started out originally downtown where the First Presbyterian Church is now located and then the co uh, college kind of migrated up the hill and has been here since the 70s. Over the years, uh, it's grown considerably. We've got quite a lot of new buildings, the Science Building and our new uh, student housing back on the backside of campus. The Lion Building over there is uh, about a 30-year-old building now, so it's all come. It used to be we had a large uh, Masonic home that was up on this hill that was a classroom and residential building, but it was hit by a tornado back in the 70s and uh, wiped out. So we have a new Nichols building up there on top of the nice. hill. So. Now I understand that it has a Presbyterian background. Yep. How has that continued through the years? Uh, we still have an association with the Center of the Sun. Uh, we have a Presbyterian chaplain that's here on campus, but uh, we're a very diverse camp uh, campus. We don't have a predominant uh, religious leaning. Uh, we consider ourselves to be a community of faith, but uh, we do not uh, specify what that faith has to be. Now, your mascot is the Scots. So for those of us who may not be aware, what is that relationship? Why the Scots and Presbyterian? Like, how does that connect? The Church of Scotland is a Presbyterian church. Lion College was founded by the Presbyterian Church. It used to be the Panthers, I think, and we were the Lambs at one time. Just Scots kind of, makes sense, right? Yep, yeah, <laughs> kind of migrated into being the Scots a long time ago. We used to separate it with the men's teams were the Scots and the women's were the Pipers, and then they made everybody the Scots a few years ago because it's a little confusing. Right, right. Now you have a big festival coming up too. Mm -hmm. When is this, and what's it called? Uh, it's the Arkansas Scottish Festival in conjunction with our. Uh, alumni homecoming, so now we call it Scott Fest, and that's October 28th this year. Yep. Okay, it's a three day, like a Friday three through right. Sunday. Friday starts in the evening on Friday, goes all day Saturday, and uh, all of this will be filled with vendor tents and uh, clan tents, um, people doing their genealogy. Uh, we have people doing craft demonstrations, food trucks. Uh, over back on the back side of the chapel, we have heavy athletics and uh, we do a dog show, I mean, literally something for everybody and admissions free. Right over here in front of where we're standing, we have sheep dog demonstrations <laughs> where the guy brings sheep and herds them with the dog with whistles That's that he, amazing. he does. Yeah. yeah, they have little codes. It's a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Yeah, now do you have to be a student or a grad to be able to come to this? No, no. open to anybody open to and, and it is free. So I want to hear you all play sure. and you will be playing at this festival, correct? Yes. Oh, absolutely. How many well, Pipers, is that what we call it? How many Pipers uh -huh. will be playing? We usually have anywhere from 12 to 15 people in the band, sometimes more, sometimes less, depending on who we get in the student body. But we also have community members that play with us. My wife is a Piper. She's an OT at the hospital, but she plays in the pipe band. But uh, we'll have uh, probably five or six pipe bands here in addition to uh, some other performers. We do a big entertainment tent right here. Uh, where uh, we have a kind of a Celtic rock band and it'll be north of Argyle. Um, we'll come up from Florida this year and they're great, good wow. friends of ours. Okay, this is going to be so fun oh, for it's everybody. A blast. I mean, it sounds like you have a weekend full of all kinds of activities for everybody. Sure. Something to look forward to and you can learn history while you're here. Yeah, that's right. perfect. And, you know, we pride ourselves on learning. I mean, that's what Lion's all about. You know, we uh, have a lot of great programs throughout the year with entertainment, uh, concerts, shows, Bevan's Music Room, we put on great entertainment and stuff in there. We have an outdoor program, but the festival's kind of the crown jewel of the whole year, so. Perfect. You guys, thank you so much. It has been such a pleasure to learn about Lion College and all of the great things, festivities you've got coming up. Now, can you give us a taste of Scotland and play us out? Sure. Absolutely. Thank you. Out.